What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We just sold out another case of Bowman. 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby. 12-box case break. Bigger teams number three. All card ship. And again, we had another team random. So if you have a little character sign, that means you wanted that in a team random. And there's everybody's names. And again, another case. Let's open it up. We open it up from the bottom. There you go, empty case. Alright, and just like I have been doing, guys, I think it's been pretty effective. I'm gonna rip six boxes, then we'll go through the six, and then we'll uh, rip the next six, and then that'll pretty much be it, and then we'll be done with the case. So it, it, it takes me about like 45 minutes in total with a little recap, top loading, you know, sleeving, going through the cards. So it's not a, not a long break at all. HJ will definitely be like half the time, though, but this was like a Bowman hobby baseball break or a jumbo Bowman that this break would probably be an hour to an hour and a half so <laughs> definitely would be much longer but it's a pretty quick rip I think I think 45 minutes is pretty fast so at that point you know factoring in printing out labels you know uploading videos gathering stuff together shoe boxes and stuff Say about an hour per break, so we're streaming over 12 hours today. I started a little after 11, went through orders, I had like 40 orders, didn't really start breaking until 12. So think about it, you know, five hours worth of break instead of six for me. So in five hours worth, we did four cases basically, plus a little World Cup break. So five breaks total, basically a break per hour. But Joe's gonna be on for another eight hours from five and after uh, five p.m. to one a.m. So include like a little 30, 40 minutes dinner break. Call it seven hours of breaking more potentially. So that means that if we're gonna rip more Bowman, you got at least another seven cases you can do tonight. Now I don't think we will do seven. I'd be amazed if we did. But I think you could easily do another four. If five and six sell out by the time I'm done with these two breaks, then Joe will jump on and boom, start those breaks. Then Nick will probably uh, team random seven and eight. I think he'll do those four easily. Now the question is, can he squeeze in an extra two and do six and kill off the first ten picker teams, which I think is very possible. So, you know, use up the time wisely, guys. We're not going to be live tomorrow, so, you know... Use the time wisely you have today to get those breaks done. And then I'm back on Friday, my normal days. 4-9, uh, this is pick your team number 3. We have only sold out uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 and 6 may show sold out, but there's a team random tied next to it. So that's not sold out just yet. But it will be soon, though. No problem, man. Yeah, I grew up here in Southern California, mid-90s, as a kid, and no, uh, no football team here. Had a lot of family members that were Raider fans, though, but I did not want to join the nation. That's cool, man.
But yeah, now that there's teams here in LA, I don't really care for so much. <laughs> yeah. A lot of my cousins are uh, Raider fans, and didn't really have a lot of family members that were Rams fans. It was just Raiders, and some of them were Cowboy fans, which I get it. Raiders, they were here in LA, right? So, you know, grew, 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 grew out of following here in Los Angeles. But for the Cowboys, I just think their success in the 90s is what, you know, got them to have a lot of fans, so... I uh, didn't really get into football so much until like late 90s, early 2000s, more like 2000 and 2001, kind of. It's like McNabb's second year, basically. Second or third year. But my brother, I, I watched the, I watched like some football games with my, my nephew's dad at the time. He was an Eagles fan in the late 80s, early 90s with Randall Cunningham. So that's kind of how I got introduced to the Eagles. I always liked the color green, so that was always my thing. So when uh, McNabb was there, I kind of fell in love with him, and yeah, pretty much around that time. Kind of sucked to be an Eagles fan then because they were winning games, but just losing in the championship game every year up until 04. But um, that's pretty much the story for me, which makes sense, you know. Obviously, if there was an LA team, most likely I probably would have been a fan of them, but. Now that there is, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to jump ship. I've invested too much time on the Eagles of my, in my <laughs> from my life to just jump ship. I did like Steve Young, though. I was lefty, so I always liked the lefty quarterbacks. You know, T.O. came from the 49ers. Jeff Garcia. Jeff Garcia, you know, so. Never had any hatred towards them or anything like that. That's right, right? Sync with them. For life. box here will rip open and then that should be six right there for us to go through All right, here we go, guys. First six. Drew Baker. Junior Sanchez. It's your first auto there for Miami. 
Wilman Diaz. Been a lifelong Raiders fan. My son's probably talking about Jeremy Shields. I told him do it now. Otherwise, he's, as he said, <laughs> yeah. No, I talk. I mean, it's for Raiders. I, it's been a very tough stretch, you know, for the last twenty years, really. I mean, obviously, early two thousands teams weren't bad. You know, obviously they got kind of murdered in that Super Bowl. But you know, we're still very, very good. But yeah, I don't know, man. Since then, you know, you had a couple of decent seasons but it just hasn't really worked out too much drew ellis but i mean that's just the way it is right i mean some eras and some some teams are just so much better than others but um i feel you though man you know All right, next one. Nice. This is one of the top props there for the Nationals. Vaquero to 125. And Luis Gill to 499. That's our first rookie autograph there. I feel like I've only seen about one, maybe two rookie autographs. Like, this is Ellis in there per case, really. I haven't really seen too many rookie autos. Obviously, main focal point is more of the prospects, but do get a good little mix in there, potentially. Dustin Harris. Drew Baker. And Michael Hernandez. Purple first for the Orioles. Ryan. There you go, man. On the board. That's to 250. And uh, was a free agent. Born in 2003 from Venezuela. So still a teenager. Javi Baez for Detroit. Jordan Lawler there. That was just flip backwards from my box. Balcazar. And a Parker Shavers to 250. Continuing with the Cubs. Mark. Cousin had a great break in number two. Jonathan Mejia Shimmer. And a Brandon Marsh. And that looks like a little variation short print. Round number 70. And, uh, yeah. Ending in 52. So there you go. That's for the Angels, Will Christian. And Jason Moro Bell. Yeah, the Marsh card looks really nice, right? I kind of like the photography in that one. Edison Polino to one ninety nine and Benjamin Coles. That's a uh, Yankees Matt Smith. Got an orange Max Muncy. A's edition Max Muncy, of course. Tougher man with that one.
Yeah, I I'm not I never really got into into that trade, but why why give up on him? Did they just want something better for him, I guess? They just wanted to move on? I don't understand though. Ooh, and a Drew Ellis to 25 rookie for the Diamondbacks. Fred. There you go, man. To 25. Orange. I'm sure the Phillies were happy to have him now. Two more boxes, guys, and then we'll go on to the next six. George Valera. It's a $4.99. Mason for the Tampa Bay Rays. This card is stuck. Danny. Danny D. Andretti. It's a 99. James Wood for the Padres. Purple to 250. And Gavin Tonko for the Phillies. That's Darren L. So $4.99. Victor there. Came to the league. Alrighty, next box here. This is the last one here, and then we'll go with the next six. Rodolfo Castro. This might be another variation. Yep. That's one there for the Pirates. That's going to Chad. Jake Rucker is the first auto. We got a Juan Yipez rookie color for the Cardinals. That's Inku to two ninety nine. Henry Davis came to the league. Bo Bichette. Marcel Mayer. And Michael Garcia. Luis Mesa. Alright guys, so there you go. First six boxes in the books. Let's get the next six going now. Got all the colors there. Put these right there too. Alright, here we go guys. So again, three and four coming up back to back. And then, uh, like I said, I'm pretty much done after that. I might have like 10, 15 minutes to spare, but I'll probably just clean up, you know, and uh, probably take a little break before I go on Instagram, maybe like a 30 minute break, get some food maybe, and then uh, I'll be on Instagram for the rest of the night, probably up until latest 11 like normal, but if, if it kind of dies down because we started really early today at 10 a.m., then probably head off around 10.
Alrighty, here we go, guys. Next six. Four more boxes here to rip. Here we go, guys. Last box, and then we'll go through the six. Alright, here we go. Second half of the case. Start us off with a J. Sean. Or Jason. Uh, Shurio. 
to 189, who I believe was one of the bigger ones, correct? For the Guardians? Chris Parent? Yerlin? For the Reds? Eric Hernandez? Little shimmer pink to uh, 189. Nick Gonzalez, Arizona Fall League. It's a 150. And it's Devin Machado. All right, next box. Jonathan Mejia. And Jackson Merrill to 299. Padres, that's going to mark. show Mike this. I, I don't know what to do with this. This is awesome. Is this like a... <laughs> is that a mystery <laughs> ticket? <laughs> Junior Perez. Uh, that is not numbered. What is Mike up to? <laughs> look at look, this came out of a box. I don't Whoa. know. I don't know what it is though. <laughs> one of one filler. I know, right? It definitely should have been a card. I yeah. just think I don't I know. I was like, I heard you say, "What the hell is this?" And I was like, "Uh oh, super fractured." <laughs> no, I wish. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Trey Turner. Yeah. To ninety nine. And Young Kill Fernandez. We got Yankees Luis. Come on, come on. Let's get something big. Four more boxes. I think there should be some nice color coming up. Just hopefully it's the right names. Luis Mesa. That's a cool first photo card. And Jordan De Los Santos. And Victor Jose Ramos. Roberto Campos. Nolan Arenado. And Willie Fanas.
Paul Goldschmidt. To 75. And Ryan Reckley for the Giants. Giants is uh, Jason Jones. Anthony Rizzo. Brandon Marsh rookie. That's a nice color again right there. Number to 199. And a Reginald Preciado. That is a Bowman Ascension. And again, more for the Cubs, Mark. That's number to 68. Shimmer Yosuar Garcia. And Marte Bowman Ascension. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. I could randomize it. I don't know. I honestly think it, it, this is worth nothing, but people could actually try to potentially trick somebody. <laughs> I just think it was just one of those. Uh... This does feel like a card. What I think it is, though, is that they just didn't put the print on the front and print on the back. And it just randomly fell into this box. But, I mean, I could randomize it to somebody, I guess. But... Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Atlanta Braves to 50. Wow, look at that. Roderick Arias. Green 12 of 99. And I think that was a pretty nice prospect there, right? Take a picture of this guy. And that's numbered, uh, actually in the front, duh. 12 of 99. Ramos. Rostin Contreras. Top international prospect, like the top. Nice. Henry Davis. And whoa, orange. What a great box. Great color. And there's 12 of 25 orange shimmer for the uh, Mets. Finas again. Ed with that one. Nice. Nice color in this box. Oh, that's like my first Julio I've seen. I think I haven't seen much of him. Hi, Jason. Oh, she's gonna shoot him. Sorry. <laughs> All right, see you later, man. Take care. Uh, you too. Good seeing you. Yeah. Have a good Thanksgiving. You too. Garrett Mitchell. Yeah. All right, last one here. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa! Wow! O'Neal Cruz, red, rookie. Wish that was an autograph, but we'll take it. Three out of five, and this case has been much better than the first two, I feel like. Uh, Pirates going to Chad. We will take a red. There you go. Daniel Vasquez for Kansas City. Randy or Rosarena. See some orange over here. And gold. Trey Sweeney. Is this gold? Uh, out of 75, it looks like. And TJ to 99 for the Reds. Friedel.
Jackson Job. And just like that, guys, there you go. So nice way to end the last six here. This is some much better names, better color. And uh, again, we'll do another quick recap. So, uh, Daniel Vasquez, TJ Friedel, Preciado, that's to 68, Santos, Finas again, Reckley, Fernandez, Merrill to 299, uh, Yerlin, Machado, Jason, Drew Ellis, Luisio, Sanchez, Short Print Castro, Rutger, Garcia, Auer, Tonkill, uh, Yesum, Cowles, Ellis to 25, Brandon Marsh, Short Print, Shavers, Hernandez, Lacaro Color, Cruz to five, Finas to 25, and then uh, Roderick Arias, which top prospect, they said, internationally. So there you go, guys. That was the break. That was number three. Number four is coming up next. And uh, I'll randomize this. I figure somebody's going to want this, so <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> argue with anybody. And uh, let's see. Let's randomize the names, and we'll give that out to one customer. If you guys make a lot of money off of this, then you can kick a little bit to me. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's get a new dice roll. Roll five, three, eight, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times eight, and it's going to chat. And there you go, folks. Thank you, guys. Number four is coming up next. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.